How to graph y equals the square root of x. This is Tom Reardon, math teacher from Ohio. You will need graph paper and a pencil. Press pause anytime is needed. If you don't have graph paper, you can download this PDF at this website, which can be printed with 20 grids on each side. So let's start with the definition of the square root of a number. For example, the square root of 36 is 6 because when you square 6, you get 36. The negative square root of 36 is negative 6 because the quantity negative 6 squared is 36. And you can also write plus or minus radical 36 is plus or minus 6. But for our purposes, we're only going to be asking for the principal or non-negative square root here. So all of our answers will be 0 or larger. So you'll need a grid, and we're going to need to make a table. And instead of using our traditional numbers that we usually use, I want to use numbers that we can easily take the square root of. I, we can't take square root of negative numbers, so they'll have to be positives. And we'll go with nice whole number integers that are perfect squares. 0, 1, 4, 9, and 16. So go ahead and create your table, finish the table, plot the points, Press pause and then resume when you're ready. So here are the values that you should have gotten. And we're going to go ahead and plot those points one at a time, starting with the origin. And then over 1 and up the square root of 1. Over 4 and up the square root of 4. Over 9 and up the square root of 9. And over 16, up the square root of 16. So do you notice anything here about those ordered pairs, similar to ones we've done before? Look at them. The ordered pairs are the reverse order of the parabola on one side of that parabola. They're just switched. So this is what the graph should look like, connecting the dots. Graph of y equals the square root of x, or radical x. Terminology, um, right there at the origin is the vertex on this square root, 0, 0. And so for the square root dance, we're going to do this. Yes, it's radical. Um, so we'll start with the origin, 0, 0, the vertex. And then we're going to go right 1 and up the square root of 1, which is 1 then write 4 and up the square root of 4, which is 2. From the vertex, write 9 and up the square root of 9, which is 3. And then write 16 and up 4. Those will be our five key points. Sometimes we only get be able to get 4, but those are five key points there. Draw the curve. There it is. Half of a parabola going sideways. Finally, let's look at domain and range. So let's look at the domain first. We have the table here and the graph. You can see that x starts at 0 and gets bigger. We can't take square roots of negative numbers. So the domain graphically is going to look like this, these numbers including 0. And how we write that uh, in set notation, the set of all x such that x is a member of the real numbers and x is greater than or equal to 0. For the range, looking at the range here, you can see, well, they're nice whole numbers, but we, we can take square roots of square root of 2 and so on, and they're irrational or fractions. So those are possible as well. Uh, graphically, that would be start at 0 and anything this way. And so it's really the same set of numbers, except we usually use the y variable for the range. The set of all y such that y is a member of the real numbers, y is greater than or equal to 0. So there's the domain, there's the range. Where might you see the square root function in the world? Pretty clever. We encourage you to interact with another video in this series.